We're going to be looking at the Bell Swarm by Spitfire Audio. It is a free library with labs, so you could go uh, check it out, download it. It's pretty cool. There's a couple presets. Maybe we go through the presets first. I am not a fan of their browser. Um, they need a search bar horribly. They have so many instruments, and you can use these tags, but there's not one called Bells. So you're kind of like up in the air trying to, or sometimes just even searching the tags. They need a search bar. Uh, but anyways, it's the, the set of instruments here, Bell Swarm. Um, and so you can like audition them here. Uh, but let's just start at the first. They have in the middle a swarm effect, which like brings in like some extra layers, like some pads or some like, either pads or really long verbs. They sound like layers though, the way they came in, they come in, like some sort of pad synth. So that's the, the swarm control. I don't like this big button knob thing here in the middle, like at all. First, the controls are hidden, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, I wish there was a more apparent way that this was. It's just not intuitive. But my main complaint is um, you have to move the mouse with this control. And that's just not how any other synth or anything does things. Uh, you grab it and then you just go up or down. That makes it move or left and right. Uh, this this having to move with it is like it such throws me so hard every time. I know it's a small thing, but man, do I not like it. Uh, we've got a low pass filter here. The low pass filter is very gentle. Like so. Okay, a good alternative to the volume. You know, kind of a, a nice thing. And then we have a reverb. Uh, let's just take the verb out. That's the default. So there you go, there might be some shaking in the camera because I pulled the keyboard out quite a ways. Normally I don't. Uh, let's go for the Vibraflome Swarm. Uh, swarm's my favorite thing, we're gonna be touching that. And then these over here are like your expression and your dynamics, like really standard stuff. So if I bring up like the dynamics, it gets a little busier. This is a cool library. I love the Swarm stuff. why we're here let me just really quick link that up so i can just five one right always comes to the rescue here's a glockenspiel trio Oh, this is a very high instrument. My keyboard doesn't, I have lights, but they don't match what's here.
We'll go ahead and bring the swarm in so far away. Ah, let's bring up the, uh, the motion here. Doesn't have the same effect as the other ones, apparently. That's the Glockenspiel Trio. Here is the Glockenspiel. Oh, here's this one's got Schwarm in the name. Maybe this is it. Uh, gotta give it a sec. So, uh, by the way, if you have notes cutting off a lot, you know, my memory, I, I moved it up quite a bit. So if you go over to the settings, there is a stream buffer size and a preload buffer size. And I just pumped this up like crazy because Sometimes it'll say the library's loaded, but you hit notes and they just cut off and you, you get like the only the very beginning of the note. It's super annoying. And it's because uh, you need to increase uh, this number specifically. The preload size fixed it for me. Ah, this is the one. You got to get the one with the swarm. That makes sense. Out of nowhere, right? Sounds like an alarm. Bring up this one. This one with maybe some verb. See, also it'd be nice if there were three knobs. So you could touch them all at once. I don't know if there's a setting for that. It is fully resizable, which is always nice. They got the juice resizer in the bottom. So it looks probably a juice plugin. So that's the Glockenspiel Swarm. Honestly, it sounds a bit nicer with it lower. And how many how many more we got? I think we're near near the end here. Foundry bells, it tolls, and dinner bell. Let's see. So this is probably just the instrument itself. Let's bring up the swarm. Here is It Tolls. I really wish they would just give us a patch with the stretched samples. The, why, why limit it? I don't understand why it's limited. That's it tolls, and then here is dinner bell. Bring up the swarm. So yeah, the last ones aren't as awesome. Uh, they're, they're cool. They, I mean, I'm glad we have them. But the the first, the Glockenspiel and the Vibraphones are really cool. Their Swarm series, uh, I own the Contact versions. I don't know if they now have stuff for specifically for uh, their player or whatever, but um, they, they're really good. They're some of my favorite instruments. So pretty cool. That hopefully gives you a taste of what the library can do. Great for backgrounds, pads, textures. Uh, it, they are capable of playing melodic stuff really clearly because of the variation in patch and just 
the dynamics controlling how many hits are going on is a really cool highlight. The UI is the same with all these things. So my complaints about the knobs and the hidden buttons and not knowing exactly what it is and um, stuff like that kind of carried all the other lab instruments, unfortunately. But, you know, they went for the super hyper clean aesthetic. So it's kind of whatever. So here it is in the free plugin database. There'll be a link to this in the description. There's a link to where you can go and get it. So their site is pretty short and sweet. Not a whole lot here. And you go to download. And then you, I believe these are installed via the downloader. It's been a while. I've had them for a long time. Uh, and, you know, you so you'd install the downloader and then do it through there. It is a rather big one uh, at 1.34 gigabytes, uh, larger than average for them. And yeah, uh, we could go ahead and search for, um, we could add on all the other Spitfire stuff here. And these are all from them. And there's a lot of other instruments. I actually don't have them all at the moment. There's a few new ones I need to include. Uh, but you could kind of get a vibe for the size these things generally are. Like it's a hundred. That's nearly a gig, um, like half a gig, under a gig. So that just gives you some perspective that it is a pretty big uh, download. There's a few over here that are over a gig. I generally, I five-starred the ones that I'm like, wow, that's really cool. But even if they're three-star, for me, that means like take it or leave it. Can be cool, cannot. But honestly, I might bump them all up now that there's so many more items. These are among the first things in the database. And I think quite a few of these are actually five-star worthy, even though I don't like their interface. So they might be four because, man, do I just not like that giant knob I just want to push up and down and the knob to move the way I expect it to. But anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts. There's so many uh, lab instruments, uh, super cool. If you make a track and upload it and it's good and it primarily features one of the instruments, drop it in the Discord or maybe go to uh, the, and comment down below. Uh, I'd be stoked to check it out. I'm sure others would find it useful as just like a demo for the product. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.